claim shot. Yung dual support and a show. A split pusher for BSB. I really like this strat. It's against Akari. Nakasama niya ang kasama niya Lolita. Pero the thing about this affair is si Kari no, no. kailangan niya samahan yung Farsa kasi walang kwenta. Wala silang mga kapag objectives. Ngayon, STI, ang lalim ng ano eh, ang lalim ng drafting natin dito eh. The Basha picked up uh, it's a counter against Kimi. Tapos si BSB tinanggal yung export. Kumbaga nagbabasaan sila dito. Pero I really like how uh, BSB's draft turned out. Kasi sila yung may upper hand dito eh. Look at the, ano, look at the uh, lanes. San magpa-farm yung Kari? Kung iisipin mo, pwede nilang iwan yung uh, Cho dito, pwede nilang hayaan. Pero remember, that's a split pushing hero. Kapag yung Cho naman yung tinignan nila, there's a Kimi na pwedeng magbasag ng Tore. Meow and the Butters. Well, we're gonna be diving into the game, but yeah. They're over at the Filipino stream, Yasu, Meow and the Butters. Well, we're gonna be diving into the game, but yeah. Flame shot. Just like, just like what she said, carry mm -hmm. is gonna be crucial here. And I think this is a support Farza. Mm. Actually, yeah, since they do have the carry, they're going to want to prioritize the farm a little bit more on the Farsa. But the fact that Farsa is getting the Little Wanderer first, uh, just setting it up for Kripsu. So, yeah, it looks like it is going to be a support Farsa. Meanwhile, over there on the side oh. of BSB, they're just doing what what they need to do with that Kimmy, allowing her to get the resources. Now, what's going to happen here is Kimmy's already going to be level 2 or 3 mm -hmm. at this point in the game. They can easily go for early turret pushes just because Nana and uh, Nana and Diggy they do have masks mm -hmm. so they will be funneling all the golden EXP towards uh, Jiraxu there mm -hmm. and yeah Jiraxu is already level 4 already doing quick work and they did, did make a switch there with the jawhead they are gonna try to pick up a fight here it's gonna be harder for SDI now that Jiraxu is level 4 and they're still catching up Grimzu although also level 4 as well but the fact that BSB was able to secure the crab here in the bottom. Gonna be a little bit harder for SDI to farm and catch up. Just oh, Dogman just <laughs> missed, just, just missed pumped it. into the wall. But Crimson just doesn't have the bit. protection that he has. And speaking of protection, all the protection oh. here is in the bat line. Wilson. And Wilson is not in a good spot. That is gonna be Ooh. the first blood going into the hands of Lembot as well. Uh, that's good for Lembot, especially for this Leomord. Allowing that. Oh, oh, meanwhile, Dogman catches off Trevor. Trevor on the run now. Lembot and the rest of STI on the oh. chase. And there goes the Diggy. Trevor goes down on the side of BSB. STI having a better start here. Able to get two kills from the get go. Even though that Kimmy farmed up really quickly, those two kills were very crucial for STI. I think Wilson was trying to go for an ejection there, but didn't really follow through completely. Yeah. There oh, goes the Fantasy being summoned, and there goes the ejection. Maximum charges is going to be connecting onto UG. Oh, 1 1, Jeraxnu, and the rest of this three man team is just going to do Ouch. quick work onto Lembot. Those spellets are hurting UG very much. Gets the shield on time. No Numinum Blast available. Oh. Wilson gets ejected. Numinum Blast getting charged up by Dockman. Oh. He's going to kill Wilson. And Dockman is alive. Shadow Shield is in the back line. Takes down Dockman. Might actually get Kripsu at oh. this point. But no, that's going to be the maximum charge taking him out. A lot of losses there for the side of SCI. Good recovery there by the rest of BSB. They saw the danger. They immediately rotated. Good rotation there, especially from Shider Cutie. Very, very good rotation. Good timing on Shider Cutie as well. Yeah. That could have been a lost fight for. And they know that SCI, uh, that Leomord, won't deal so much damage yet that you have to worry about it. But once again, it's a race against time. BSB have to do this fast and have to do this really quickly. What they, what BSB can actually do here is, as I'm saying this, they are pressuring the top side. And they are looking for a fight here onto oh. Nixu. Gets away of the Dragon Connection and Nix is going to go down. This is going to be the easy tier 1 turret. Mm, not yet though, they don't have the wave, but the wave is coming up. Meanwhile, great response there by SEI taking down the turret first. Going to make them a little bit more dangerous in the rotation now. Meanwhile, on the top lane though, BSB, as you mentioned, that first turret in the top lane though, uh, getting really dangerously low now that the Cho is just there. Already destroyed, one for one in terms of the turrets. And they are making their presence known here in the uh, mid lane, because they want to protect the mid lane rotation here. Mid lane is, the, in my opinion, the most important lane to protect because mm -hmm. if mid is just wide open, it just allows you a lot of rotation access. Yeah, meanwhile, speaking of rotation, oh. Lambot gets caught off the maximum oh. charge! Not really! Like, oh, it was the flame shot! Not even the maximum charge, but it was the Diggy that got the kill with the flame shot. <laughs> it's a Diggy snipe! This, you'd never expect a Diggy to snipe, but the, we... <laughs> Thank you for introducing the flame shot, Mutant. That's the world that we live in now. Diggy can snipe Shider Cutie, gets cut off by Nixu. The rest of 
BSB are not nearby to help. SCI is there though, so of course he has to get back. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, look at that Kimi, Jiraksu, and that Nana just focusing there, but here back in the top lane, Wilson and Trevor are in a bit of danger. SCI applying the pressure here. Meanwhile, the Nana and the Kimi, Numenor. Oh, blast! Not with gonna the flicker, not gonna dirty, because of the just time. In time. They go just in, just in time. There goes Shida Kuti from the back. Here comes the SCI. Rest of SCI now going on the retreat because Nixu gets ejected to the back line, but they still can't get the kill because he's just so tanky. Not a lot of damage right now coming from BSB. The Kimi isn't there for the assist, so it's going to be a stalemate. That was a good disengage. Mm -hmm. That was a good disengage by Trevor. You, you can't, you don't see that often. The Numenor Blast was getting charged, and he just popped it at right at the same time. If it connected, that's going to be two guys down inside of BSB, and then the third going down. But yeah, I digress. The third's still going to go down. It's one HP now. That was really, really great timing because it's not. He didn't pop it when it was charging up. It was just when he felt that okay, it's about to hit full charge with the sun. But no, here comes Doc Man getting caught out. He's probably going to go down. Mm. Killing spree now for the Kimmy Feather. Air strike has been brought down, but it's not going to deal enough damage to BSB. And that's another kill for the boys blessed since birth. And now they are going to be sieging up the mid lane and keep the blessings coming. Cho's going to be in a bit of a tight spot there over the top side, and he is going to go down without a shadow of a doubt. Ooh. Almost makes it out, but... Shut down there by the Farsa. The projectile was already on his way, so there's no chance he's well going to escape, even with a flicker. No chance! So that's what you got. No chance in hell! <laughs> you got no chance! <laughs> oh, Nixu <laughs> here might have a chance, though. He has to be careful. Feathered airstrike brought down just to provide a little bit of space. Melina Smooch, 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 though, providing the space that BSB need, but Goodbye. they won't be able to defend that top lane turret. See you later. Alligator. Oh! He got the... He got the steal. He got the crab he steal with the a crabby. flame shot. My goodness, Jirax knew. And this battle finally being picked up by Jawhead. And it seems as though as mid lane pressure is going to be upon us. They're going to try to siege this up. Turtles are going to be spawning. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, my goodness. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? The damage. I think that was a flame shot with the maximum charge. Like as soon as she Oh, another flame shot. Nixu getting really low. Journey. He's taken down by Trevor's Diggy. But here comes Cripsu. No, he's not going to go for the chase. Feathered airstrike just to provide a little bit of space. And BSB get away. Another kill once again. And see, this is why ever since even just the qualifiers, we've been talking of how much of a game changer flame shot is. Look at the damage that you can do. It deals so much damage. The cooldown is near non-existent. Yes, I know it's like 30 to 40 seconds, but that's still really quickly. You have a, pretty much have a long-range shotgun for the entirety of the game. You're basically converting one of your uh, skills into a uh, Valor skill. Yeah. And Valor also has that. Minus a knock, minus a stun. Mm. So yeah, just that's why we also don't yeah. see Valor get... No, Valor does. Oh. But this is going to be a, an attempt for a steal. Doesn't actually happen, but that is space created to uh, secure the turtle. Yeah. Now here's the problem I have when you're picking a Farza and you have a Kimi on your side and you got three guys with flame shots on the other side. Mm -hmm. You will be able to snipe out Farza. Like, as soon as you connect the flame shots, and as soon as she opens up the feathered airstrike, mm -hmm. hey guys, this is the target right here. Let's aim our flame shots. And you're going to be running away. That's yeah, and the range of that flame shot is crazy. That's why you can do it. Like, flame shot used to be brought out only because if you have a Farza, you put flame shots on your backliner so it doesn't get anywhere near Farza. That's when people realize, you know what? We can actually use it to snipe out Farza. And that's what, what we've been seeing. The time of the Farza meta. Uh, came by really quickly because of the changes in the meta, especially with introduction of that flame shot. Dangerous, dangerous skill. I know a lot of us have a lot of opinions about the flame shot, but this is how we're seeing it now. Maximum charge used, but misses. Uh, uh, he, she was already a Molina. How could you miss that? No, I, like, <laughs> I'm not joking. Would actually. you have made that? If I were closer. <laughs> uh, if I were closer, I would have made that shot. Once again, you are a Molina. <laughs> He gets turned into a cat once again. Now, BSB controlling the map really well. It's a very slow and methodical approach very. to this game. And this is very fundamental what BSB is doing. SCI, though, they're, they are doing okay, but not so well now because it's going to be a near 7k to 6k difference in gold. And they're having a hard time really going around, capturing what they need to capture, taking control of the map. Because just when they thought that they can control one part, that completely sacrifices another part, and SDI now 
I'm really, really not feeling Lembot's Leomard so much here. We've barely seen action from him. I've been saying this since Season 2. It's all about who controls the game, who, who has the tempo, Lord and who dictates the tempo. Who's the conductor in the orchestra of battle that we have in the Land of Dawn? That's exactly how BSB is playing the game. They're making sure that SEI can't rotate outside of their terms. They're controlling SEI in all aspects of rotation. Look. If you look at the map, oh, the knock up. There, there's going to be a 3 one Can he try to get it? Oh, the flame blast. shot! Moment of blast the catch and it connects onto Diggy. Trevor's going to be forced to use the time journey. That's going to be uh, Jiraxu without any proper protection that Molina's going to be used. Oh, and that is a oh, oh, snipe with that maximum charge. <laughs> maximum charge hitting plus ultra from long range for three. Jiraxu absolutely on fire. He's five. Oh and five in this game. My goodness, BSB. You know that five kind of looks like an S, right? SOS. That's an SOS. That's what STI is calling for right now. <laughs> they need to bounce back from this game. And I feel like the only way that they can bounce back from this game is they can if they can pick off Nana and Diggy so that they can have an open way to mm -hmm. Kimmy. And at the same time, I I feel like Lembot really doesn't have to wait until near the very end when everyone else is low. Like, not necessarily just use Leomord as a sweeper because once BSB sees Leomord coming in, that's going to change their mentality approaching into the team fight. So Lembot has to be a little bit gutsier here. But I'm thinking that maybe his reservation right now in terms of actually engaging, the, is it coming from the fact that he's still lacking the items? Does he still not have enough items that he needs to be effective? Because right now, while he's waiting, he's just a non-factor. And I feel like mid lane is going to be the primary point of contention here. Sorry to cut you off there. Oh because good. this is going to be a siege. The Lord is going to be marching over at the top side. They are going to be walking with the Lord this time around. Basha is going to try to uh, run around. Charged. Numina Blast being charged up. It's not going to be connecting to anybody. Just going to be connecting on that cannon minion. And this is going to be on all out defense from SCI. They need to stop this from happening. The Lord is going to go down. And while that's happening oh. on the bottom lane, Wilson's going to take out Lambot. And that is something that you don't want to happen. Defending a siege and you're one man down. And this is, this is the mid lane going down as well. Just the inhibitor the turret staying here. Nixu trying to get a stun connection. Not going to be happening. They get pulled back. Rizzo does take down Shider Cutie. But that is at the cost of a turret. And they have to fall back because Jiraxxon is free hitting. This Kimmy is doing whatever the hell she wants to do. And once again, this is why I'm, I said I really wish they picked the Uranus instead of the Baksha. Because yes, they're both tanky, but Uranus really is a sponge against Kimmy. You you need that, especially against a player like Jiraxu here. And STI, this is going to be a nigh, near impossible mountain to climb. This is one of those moments where you actually need BSB to make a mistake. You can make all the right moves, but if you're STI, that might even not be enough. What you need here is BSB to make a mistake. Yeah, you need the sponge that lives in the pineapple under the sea. Huh? Why? Oh, because sponge. Okay, I see. Thank you. <laughs> Brute Force breastplate. Oh, no, Kabeem, but Trevor Kabeem, Kabeem. gets caught off. Feathered air strike just provided yep. a bit of space. Oh, not bad, getting charged not up, not getting it. anyone. They just sidestep side -step that confidently, and Dogman shield up just to stop the damage coming in from the Kimmy. Those are the fights that they don't want to happen. Yep. They need to be reactively proactive, if that makes sense, because it's BSB just looking for the initiates, even though they just don't have the good initiates. Mm -hmm. they, I mean, SEIA has Lolita to go for the Numinum Bath. Lembo has the Stomp to knock, to slow anybody down, to connect for the, to, to connect the mm -hmm. Numinum Blast. And then we got Nixu that can just roll over anybody. But at the same time, I also have to point out here that BSB is running three flame shots. So that gives them a lot of damage before even going into a team fight. That's true. From afar, you can already whittle down SDI's health. And then during a team fight, you have the knockback. And though no land, but gets caught off here. But Shredder Cutie says, no, I'm not taking that just yet. Oh. Nixu sees him in the back line, tries to go for the interception, but not able to take down or pin down Shredder Cutie. He did a little bit of shaking and bacon there. Just a little bit of shimmy. A little shimmy. A little crossover, step back, turn around, fade away, dunk. Where was the dunk in that? I, I get the crossover, like, sidestep. Turn around, fade away, dunk. Okay. Okay, okay. It, it, like it imagine turn around, then you fade away, uh -huh. and then you ma still manage to dunk. Bro. That's basically what's happened there. And this is basically what SEA is looking to do. They're mm -hmm. looking to turn the things, turn everything around. See, see the connection there? Yep, I like that. I like that. But it's going to be really difficult, though. It is. Lord, they need some of Michael's secret you. stuff. They need that cartoonish ability to dunk from the 
<laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> the, the Lord! <laughs> the Lord! We heard the Lord all the way from here in Makati! Trevor's getting down really low! Lamboy going in for the JC take down the Trevor's there goes the Diggy! This is probably an opening for SCI, but their backline is getting taken up! Oh, That's yeah, a kill on that Jawhead! A kill on the Lolita! It's two Ooh. for one! Oh, but look at the damage coming in from the maximum charge! STI able to take down two members of BSB! They, for me, they win that fight! Even though they do take a loss, they win that fight that allows them to catch up a little bit. But that wasn't enough of a gold swing. They're still behind 10k and they can't even find the positional advantage here over BSB in the Lord Pit. Because you have so much zoning capabilities. You have the mines from the Diggy. And you also have the, the Molina Smooch coming in from the Nana. It's really That's another reason why they're having such a hard time moving around that map. Because BSB has a lot of spacing. Uh, well, hold up there. Hold up there, partner. <laughs> Why does this happen? You go texting on me, man. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> get but they are going to try to go for this Lord. That's what SCI wants. And they cannot get that. Because mm -hmm. we got the Molina on the Nana. We got Diggy that just can pull anybody back at any time. But this is going to be an attempt for SCI regardless. Molina is going to be expanded onto Doc Man. Oh Here comes goodness. the Feathered Airstrike. <laughs> connects onto Cap 1. Gonna be uh, popping up the immortality. Mid lane's gonna go down as well. But we do have Cyber Cutie over the top lane, over in mid lane. I mean. Yeah, BSB have to. Try to make the most out of this next two. Wilson gets caught off, but here comes Shiner Cutie in the back. Oh, line. Go oh down. look at that damage! Dark Man getting really low. Time's journey has been popped just to get away. And no casualties just yet. But Shiner Cutie back going line. in for the chase and doesn't completely commit because he does have the immortality up on Nixu. And he knows if he fully commits and he's not careful, Fars is just there with a the feather death strike. But that all those efforts was not in vain because BSB able to space out STI really well and taking that Lord. And Hans too. It's a level 2 Lord. It's going to hurt. It's going to be marching straight into the mid lane. Which means that SCI is going to be devoting a lot of uh, skills to take down the Lord before he reaches the base. Yeah, but that's if BSB allows them to get even to that middle area of the map. Yeah, they can start split pushing at any time now. And I think that is what Cho is going to do. What Shider QD is going to do here over the top side. Uh, Jawhead is going to be waiting for an op a proper opportunity to eject Farsa in towards BSB's front line. I feel like that's the case. Mm -hmm. He's pro um, yeah, yeah. And, and look what's happening here. You mentioned that what SAI needs to do is try to start whittling away the Lord while it's in the middle. But because of the spacing that and the map control that BSB just has here, it's a, it's really hard to do. And look at the aggression BSB is showing here, yeah, applying the pressure cool. in the mid, not even allowing them to get out of base. And they are going to be sieging up the bottom lane. That's going to be a lot of skills expended onto the Lord. Bottom lane turn is going to go down. Top yeah. lane inhibitor turret is going to be next. Here goes the better air strike to be used defensively on all fronts in order to dish out the maximum amount of damage. Time turn is going to be committed there. Oh That's going to be the goodness. kill by Lambot. Numino Blast being charged up. Going to be connected oh. on people, but not a lot of follow throughs here. Crimson going to be going in for the kill, but it's not going to be enough because Shadow Q is going to be in the back lines. But Jinox is now going to go down. Shadow Q tried to go for Dogman, but that's not going to happen though. And this might be a good. No, this is, this is not. I uh, might be. This is a good defense from SCI, but that is already a quarter of the HP chipped down from the base. And now we're getting to the point where Nixu is starting to be able to take a lot of damage coming in from the Kimi. He was just spacing them out over there in the middle. Great job there by Nixu. And now, of course, Cryptzu, BSB have to respect the fact that SCI have the carry here, that shredder. Carry can shred them oh, so no, quickly, no, but no, 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 they no. get caught off there. Molina plays so many ultimates. Dogman goes down. Only one tank left remaining for SCI. That's three down for SCI, but the Leomord and UG is about to come back on that Farsa. But will it be enough? BSB applying the pressure. Look at Shider Cutie just splitting from the rest of the team, applying extra pressure there in the bottom lane. And that this has been the story of the game. It's just been all BSB, SDI really trying their absolute best to make the most out of a BSB mistake. Yes, they done that. They did that earlier with the defense, but getting caught off their dog man that really, really hurt them. I still feel like this. This is a lost game for SCI now. At this point, it's hard to come back in this state, especially considering the fact that yeah, they're all level 15s now, mm -hmm. but they don't have the rotations from BSB. And that's what BSB has. They're applying a lot of pressure all across the map. The SAI just has to respond. Nixu. To that, Nixu is going to get kicked into oblivion. Gets Molino. Oh, 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 o
Lembot as well. Well said. No, no. Three down already for the side of SDI. BSB will apply the pressure. Five of them are up, and it looks like this is going to be GG. Look at Jirax new just freely hitting in the base, and they pop. He hold down the side lanes, and we talked about holding the tempo, setting the tempo. Uranus does that for a lot. Para sa BSB, only dropping 8 deaths. And katulad ng sinabi natin kanina, tumagal yung laban. Pero ang masasabi natin is, no matter what happened, it still is the overall control of BSB all throughout the game.